It's marvels for me. This is a grass called spear grass that is very good at colonizing open patches of ground and it does that by having a very detailed or sophisticated seed. So this is the one seed, I'm going to throw the rest away. That's what it looks like. It's got a bend to it and it's got a bend to it for a very specific reason in that that harpoon that you see there has got a spade on it and if you look very carefully you can see the hairs on that particular grass all face backwards. That is the harpoon and anchor and drill of that seed. So this whole grass seed is a delivery system for the seed at the top there. Now I'm gonna, I'll take the seed off so that you can see what the seed looks like. There is the seed and it's, oh, there's the seed and its delivery system. You can see where the, that is the two parts of it. And now let me show you how it works. The seed drops off, it twists when it gets dry and it waits for water to fall on it. I'm going to use a little bit of spit just to get it going. And then it drills itself basically into the ground. Now watch it start to turn. See it start twisting? Let's wet it a bit more. Sometimes they're a bit slow. So let me hold it. There you go, you can see it turning. And that's not my finger turning it, I promise. That's the seed, busy unwinding. And it uses that motion to then drill the seed into the floor. And that's how it plants its seed in open patches of ground. Interesting, eh? So this particular type of assegai grass is known as a pioneer grass. And pioneer grasses are very good at growing in areas that are overgrazed or have been really uh, abused like this termite mound would have been and the adjacent parking lot when the hyena den was here. And so that particular grass is very good at colonizing open patches of ground. It then colonizes or pioneers an open patch of ground. It, in its dying and its growing, aerates the soil and it creates a layer of humus, uh, which is compost basically, which stabilizes the soil and allows other types of grass to then germinate there. And eventually what you get is you get a succession of grasses from pioneer through to climax grass species. And what you're wanting to see in areas like this is your flay bristle grass or your, uh, your Thimida triandra or your red grass or your guinea grass. So those are the three climax species of grasses that we have over here. They're very good grasses uh, from a food point of view um, out here. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that little bit of ecology lesson. I'm going to send you through to Byron who's found some zebra.